Hey, I'm Abby and welcome back to the Life Work Balance YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about how you answer interview questions about weaknesses. Now honestly, I can't believe questions about weaknesses still exist in the interview process because in most cases people are going to just frame their weaknesses as strengths or they're going to talk about how they are working to improve their weaknesses so that it comes off as something that is beneficial to the interviewer or the people who are doing the interviewing. Now, this is going to be part of my advice, so just as a disclaimer, but I honestly can't believe this is still an interview question. Still, I'm glad you're here because it is important to prepare to answer this question if it does come up during the interview process because it still does. So I want to share with you my five tips on how to answer questions about weaknesses during an interview and I'm also going to give you five example weaknesses that you can use as templates to start to build or craft your response to weakness interview questions. And before we jump into my content, I want to give a quick shout out to Movo Photo, who sent me a wireless mini microphone that I'm going to be using during my video today. If you've watched my videos in the past and you like the audio better in this video than in my previous videos, please let me know. Historically, I've used a microphone that has been mounted on my camera, which is several feet away from me. It, it works just fine, but I have a lot of background noise. You know, I'm filming in my basement, so I've got a lot of HVAC noises from my AC unit or my furnace, and it can also sometimes pick up noises from my children running around on the floor above me, or my dog who usually spends her time with me while I'm filming. I've also received some comments saying that my audio is somewhat echoey, which can be hard to hear. So if you like this audio in this video better, please let me know because that will help me determine if I should continue using this new wireless microphone or if I should continue using my camera microphone. I'm also going to assume that if you're watching this video, it's likely that you are preparing for an upcoming interview. If you would like some additional support preparing for that interview, please let me know. I offer one-on-one -on -one interview strategy sessions where we can meet and I can help you prepare for your upcoming interview. We review very common questions that can come up during an interview and even questions that would be specific to the interview that you have coming up based off of the job that you've applied to. When I work with people for these interview strategy sessions, they walk away feeling more confident and more prepared for their upcoming interview. And regardless of the outcome, they find this highly valuable. So if that's something that you're interested in, please reach out to me today. I've linked to my email as well as my website in the description box below. As soon as you know you have an interview coming up, reach out to me as quickly as possible because my sessions fill up fast. With that, let's jump in to my five tips on how to answer questions about weaknesses during an interview, as well as my five example weaknesses that you could use in your interview. Tip number one, be honest but strategic. When it comes to answering any question about weaknesses during an interview, you want to be honest, authentic, and genuine but you want to ensure that the weakness that you share will not directly affect your performance in the job. So choose a skill or a behavior that isn't essential to this job or one that you are actively working to improve that demonstrates your self-awareness, but again, will not impact your performance in the job. Tip number two is to frame this weakness as a growth opportunity. You'll be able to demonstrate and show your self-awareness by explaining how you've recognized this weakness recognize the impact it could have on you, your team, or your organization, and the steps that you are taking to improve or mitigate that weakness. You want to make sure that you mention specific actions that you're taking to try to manage or mitigate this weakness. This might include courses or trainings that you've attended, feedback from your supervisor or peers, or even tools or systems that you've put in place to help you address and manage this weakness. Tip number three, is to avoid cliche responses. There are common responses to these weaknesses questions that interviewers are expecting and will roll their eyes if they hear it. These are statements like, I'm a perfectionist, or I work too hard, or I'm too dedicated. Do not share those things as your weaknesses during an interview. Instead, choose something more authentic. These could be things like time management or delegation skills that are still relatable, and again, don't directly impact your performance on the job, but also demonstrate your self-awareness and your authenticity. My fourth tip is to tailor the weakness to the job. Now, this doesn't mean that it is a weakness that will show how you will perform poorly on the job. You want to tailor your weakness to the type of work that you could be doing. The weakness should align with the role. So for example, Creative people are stereotypically less organized. So maybe you are a creative professional and you share that you're working to improve your organization skills. People who are historically more creative are also historically less organized. Maybe if you are a new manager, you are working to improve your delegation skills. In the past, you've been used to doing it all. 
And so that is a skill that has come with you to your new management or leadership role. So you are working actively to improve your delegation skills. Always frame your weakness with a positive spin. What are you doing to improve, manage, or mitigate this weakness? And then tip number five is to use the CAR method to answer this question. Context, action, result. Describe the context in which you've noticed or you've experienced this weakness. You want to make sure that this weakness is relevant to the situation that you're sharing. Then describe the actions that you took to identify this weakness and the actions or steps that you've taken to improve, manage, or mitigate this weakness. And then finally, what were the results? What were the positive results that you've achieved by managing, mitigating, or improving this weakness. Using the CAR method to answer this question will demonstrate your self-awareness and will also show how you've turned this weakness into a potential strength. So now the part that you've all probably been waiting for, the five examples of weaknesses that you could use in an interview. Now I want to ensure that before we jump into these example responses, that you remember that these are just templates. These are generic responses that I put together as examples for this video, which means that you should take these examples and if you want to use any of them, that you tweak them slightly and you add specifics to your situation, your context, your stories, so that they feel more authentic and genuine to you. Do not use these word for word during an interview. These are too vague and not specific enough to your specific situation and context to be used by you during an interview. So they're a great starting place, but build on them. Make them yours. First, time management. You could say something like, I used to struggle with time management, especially when juggling multiple projects. I realized this could affect my productivity, so I started using project management software to organize my tasks and set deadlines. Now I am much more efficient and my team has noticed the improvement. My second example is public speaking. You could say, I've always felt nervous when speaking in front of large groups, which I know can be important in some roles. To work on this, I've been taking public speaking workshops and volunteering for opportunities at work to lead presentations. While I still get nervous, I've noticed that I'm becoming more confident with each opportunity. Example three is delegation. You could say, in the past, I've struggled with delegating tasks because I tend to want to do everything myself to ensure it's done perfectly. I've learned that this isn't sustainable, especially in leadership roles. I've been focusing on trusting my team's abilities more, and I now assign tasks based on their strengths. It has improved my team's efficiency and allowed me to focus on higher level priorities. The fourth example you could use would be overcommitment. You could say, I used to take on too many projects at once because I wanted to help everyone and contribute as much as possible. This led to burnout and not always being able to deliver my best work. I've since learned to prioritize and say no when necessary ensuring I can focus on delivering quality work on key projects. And the fifth and final example that you could use as a weakness in an interview would be confrontation avoidance. This is one of my personal favorites. I found it difficult to address conflicts directly, which is important in a team setting. I would sometimes avoid difficult conversations, which wasn't helpful in resolving issues. Recently, I've been taking courses on conflict resolution and practicing having open, honest discussions. I'm now more comfortable addressing issues head on which has led to better team dynamics and problem solving. So each of these example weaknesses demonstrate your self-awareness, your willingness to improve, and steps you've taken to overcome this weakness, which makes them strong responses to answering any question that comes up about weaknesses in an interview. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any additional questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas on weaknesses that you've used during an interview, things that you've liked or that you haven't liked that you've used, please share your experiences and stories in the comments box below. I love receiving comments and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can, but just know that if I'm not able to respond to you quickly, that your stories and the experiences that you share in the comments below will likely help someone who's going through something similar in the future. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are preparing for an interview and you would like more one-on-one -on -one customized coaching or interview strategizing, please let me know. I offer interview strategy sessions, applications material review sessions, and I offer general career coaching for the entire job search process. So if you're looking for some additional support, regardless of where you are in the job search process, please reach out to me today. As I mentioned earlier, I have limited availability and my slots fill up quickly. So as soon as you know that you have something coming up, whether it's a job that you'd like to apply to, an interview coming up, or even salary negotiation, please let me know. I would love to help you through that process. I've linked to my email as well as my website in the description box below, so please contact me today.
If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every week. Thanks. And I'll see you next time.